Ikhwani, very, very important, something which our sisters just don't understand. It should be loose, not tight, so that it describes any part of the body. I'm sure every single one of us, and it's a plague. If you go to a busy place, you will see a sister in hijab, and she will be wearing clothes that are so tight, Ikhwani, there is nothing left except that you can see everything. This is completely haram. Hijab is not just covering the color of your skin. Hijab is an overall state of being. And of course, if you're wearing jeans, you can't do it. If you're wearing leggings, you can't do it. The only way that a sister can cover herself is to wear an abaya or to wear a jilbab or something else which is a loose fitting. It should not be perfumed. Sisters nowadays, they wear a hijab, they're wearing the abaya, they're wearing the jilbab. And subhanallah, they wear so much perfume that you can smell them from the other side of the room. If they walk past you, it gives you a headache. Ikhwani, this is completely forbidden by the Prophet It should not resemble the clothes of men. Sisters, when you dress, don't dress like men. Don't be wearing jeans and don't be wearing other things that are for the men. It's not permissible for a woman to wear jeans and then wear hijab. Ikhwani, it's extremely important. The Messenger of Allah cursed the man who wears woman's clothes and the woman who wears men's clothes. The women that leave the house with the shape of their bodies defined, or their hair shown, or they are decorated in one way, shape or form, or they are perfumed, Every neck that turns, every eye that looks, you share in the sin of the person that committed it. You could be upon the bus, reading Qur'an or making dhikr, and you don't even realize it, that guy whose eyes fall on your thigh, or his eyes fall upon your arms or your neck, or your waist, or your legs, any of this, you get the exact same sin because you made that sin a possibility. And it appeared to them before Allah what they never expected. Sins and sins and sins and sins, mountains, never expected it. The higher the skirt, the higher the pain. The more buttons open on the blouse, the higher the pay. The prettier the hair, the higher the pay. They trick the women into thinking the attention they can grab to what? To feed their perverse desires. They brainwashed women into thinking that was value. And they thought they were liberated and they finally achieved equality. But I want to say they might have tricked the women, but not you. Not my sister, not the slave of Allah. <laughs>